If you're a Windows 11 user, chances are you've used Microsoft Edge at least at some point. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can remove Microsoft Edge from Windows 11 for good. Now, uh, the first thing that you can do, uh, and it's a bit of a temporary fix, uh, is to open up Task Manager by pressing Windows key plus X and then clicking on Task Manager here. Here, we are going to our Startup Apps tab. And in this list, if you scroll down, you will find msedge.exe, which is the startup process for Microsoft Edge. Uh, what you have to do is make sure that this task is disabled. So just right click and click on the disable option. Uh, it's already disabled here, which is why you see enable instead. But once this has been uh, disabled, Edge will not start on launch, which means you can just get rid of it as your default browser and it should in most cases uh, not appear out of the blue and ruin your experience. Now, if you want a more permanent fix, as you know, you can't uninstall Edge, but what you can do is run a PowerShell command to get rid of it. So just search for PowerShell and uh, click on run as administrator. Give it the permissions it needs. And now that we have a PowerShell administrator window, all you have to do is copy paste this command that you will find in the description below. And yeah, there you go. So uh, this is a app removal package command in Windows 11. You can use it to uninstall Edge, Microsoft Store, uh, any component that goes wrong, which you can't usually install from the Windows UI. Now all you have to do is go ahead and press enter and it will permanently nuke Edge off of your system. And that's how you can uninstall Edge from Windows 11. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.